Okay, in this video, I tend to at least address the question, what is biology? A lot of students know it as the study of life, but then to go much beyond that, that's where a lot of them get tripped up. So starting with uh, biology, study of life, study of living things is a way also to look at it. And living things can be classified into six kingdoms. You're probably most familiar with uh, animals, plants, maybe even fungi and bacteria, but there's also protists and archaea as part of the total of the six kingdoms. So the question is, well, what is life? It's kind of like the game of life, life cereal. Here's uh, kind of humorous here with the, uh, the egg and the uh, chicken crawling out of it. But how do we actually define what actually is life? Well, I've included two links to some videos here that kind of give you an appreciation for what life is. And one is uh, duck egg hatching under time lapse. Another one is a monarch butterfly metamorphosis that does occur. So what is life? Getting back to this central question. Since biology is the study of life, we need to think about, well, what, is this, what does life mean? Uh, what does it mean to be alive? Well, we look at a cell here, and we have individual components, uh, the cilia, the microtubules, the Golgi apparatus, so on and so forth. These are the individual components. Then we have this, these individual components are organized to result in a behavior. So alone, the Golgi apparatus, the lysomes, the cytoplasm, uh, the cell membrane are just components. But all of these combined together result in a behavior. And components are organized into this specific structure. So living organisms and many non-living things share three properties. They're complex, they uh, typically provide movement, and they respond to stimulation. So that's that getting into that behavior component there. So we say our properties of life, there's five main ones. All living organisms share these five basic properties. The first one is cellular organization. All organisms are composed of at least one cell. So it can be just one cell. You can see here, when those cells are composed of atoms, molecules, macromolecules, cells. Cells can combine to form tissues. Tissues can combine to form organs, and so on and so forth. But the, one of the key or the five basic properties is cellular organization and the fact that all living organisms are composed of at least one cell. Another is that these living organisms have metabolism. What's metabolism? Well, all living organisms use energy. You see here we're taking in, in this case, chemical energy in the form of carbohydrates, fats, uh, could be proteins. And we're going to be producing uh, chemical waste like carbon dioxide, producing heat, uh, forming ATP. That's resulting in our metabolism, the ability to use and break down energy. All living organisms are able to maintain homeostasis. And these are stable internal conditions. Despite wanting to change, such as uh, blood sugar here being increased or decreased, the body is trying to maintain a relatively stable environment despite a changing external environment. This could be walking from a room that is air conditioned where it's very cold, walking outside to where it's very hot. Your body is trying to maintain the same temperature despite the changing external environment. Uh, four is all living organisms can grow and reproduce. This is, uh, we see that here, whether it's human, whether it's insect, uh, able to grow and reproduce, even though the life cycles of each individual may be different, there is that uh, cycle that does occur. And lastly, uh, all living organisms possess genetic material that is based on DNA. D DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. This is how we're able to inherit certain genes from our mom or our dad. It's through the pass down of the DNA. We're able to track that and it makes us essentially who we are. So putting those all together, if you didn't get them all there at once, this is the last kind of summary slide that all living organisms have cellular organization, metabolism, homeostasis, growth and reproduction, and lastly, all organisms have some form of heredity. Hopefully this was helpful in describing well, the properties of life.